Hello, my name is Stephen Stokes. Welcome to Bodden Cross Studio. I've been asked today to talk a little bit about uh, my favourite tools, and this is possibly my most favourite, which is the Tormek. And this is the Tormek Supergrind 2000. So, one of the uh, latest upgrades that's come from Tormek has been their new Diamond Stones. And I have one. It's a bit of an investment, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. This one is in the uh, middle range, um, so they have three different grades, and um, I've got one that's in the, in the middle grade because I need the versatility of being able to reshape some of my wood turning tools and sharpen them quickly in a hurry. So, in order to get this new stone on, we have to get the old stone off. I haven't removed this wheel for probably 15 years, I think. Now, unsurprisingly, this stone is not moving. So let's attack it from the other side to loosen that whole unit off. And there it is. So again, on the principle that that seems to be a little bit stuck, we'll come around to this side. Remembering, of course, to move the motor as you're taking this wheel off because the motor is in contact there with that drive wheel. This is going to be a little bit reluctant, I think. Oh no, there we go. Move the motor again, make it a bit easier. There we go. So here you can see there's a pin. Remove the pin, keep in a safe place. Now let's get that whole shaft out. And there it is. Now, it's pretty obvious that that shaft is fairly well stuck onto that stone. It doesn't mean this stone is, is no longer usable. It's perfectly usable. It just means that that shaft is going to be attached permanently to that stone. So in order to use the diamond wheel, I'm going to upgrade and get a new shaft. So now here is the new shaft, stainless steel with instructions. So, following the instructions, I know that's hard for some of us, always worth doing if you want to get it right. And I always think it's worth looking after a tool that's looked after you. Right, so there we have the washer in, so now we need the pin. Now we need the inner drive wheel making sure that obviously we locate it this way around because that pin has to go into that slot. Remembering to move the motor. Again, don't over tighten. And again, not over tightening. Round to the other side now. And we have the spacer washer. And the diamond wheel itself. Gosh, this is quite a substantial weight to it. There we are. Now, this is one of the lovely new innovations from Tormek, which is the easy lock nut. And it even has arrows on it, so you can see which way you're supposed to turn it. So, lock. And the instructions say that when we start the machine, that will then help tighten up the whole thing. 